Well, nowadays, heart pains, heart attacks is not only common among the elderly people or certain age. We are seeing some cases in the city, in other cities also, where 8 years, 12 years, 14 years kids are facing this problem. So, in high tech in Hyderabad, there was a big initiative, big campaign happened where school children from different schools, they participated and learned the trick how to save a life. So let's find out with these kids what they learn and how they can save a life and what they need to do when them, they get the symptoms of heart pain. So first of all, I want to welcome you all and thank you so much that from your school time, you have come here, you're attending the campaign, which is very important. So let's start with the coach. So it's a very good initiative, sir. What do you have to say in Hyderabad, in Telangana, girls of, or boys, eight years, 12 years, 13 years getting Head, uh, heart pain. What do you have to say about this? Ma'am, uh, in the day, there is a lot of heart stroke. If there is a sudden event, there is a lot of availability. If there is a lot of availability, there is a lot of availability. It is easy to do it. If there is a lot of availability, there is a lot of availability. If there is a lot of nearby park, there is a lot of situation. We hope that there is a lot of availability. Very good initiative. Sir, can you just give me some tips what you, what you made learn today? Can you yeah, show it yeah, to us? Yeah. We can hack yeah. the mic. What are the three basic tips a per, uh, children should keep in mind when they get some chest pain or how to react? You, can you show it to my camera? Yes, it's it's Explain it. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. It's a position like this. Hmm. And press it. The hands should not bend the elbows. Hmm. And press it like this one. How many times, sir? 100 times, ma'am. Okay, if somebody get uh, unconscious, yes, then you have to do yeah, this yes, act. Yes, yes. What should be the duration? I mean, if somebody gets suddenly fainted, and you know the kids are like, they are scared. So what should be the duration? If they get just fainted and we should keep trying this, yes, suddenly we should do that? Uh, yes, ma'am, suddenly hmm. we'll do it. If, well, if they are unconscious, hmm. we'll do this. That's it. Any other precautions need to be taken care of? Anything you would like to add up? After this, precautions, symptoms, or you can talk about the symptoms. Chest pain. So the chest pain. Chest pain. Chest chest pain. pain. And I think the students yeah, will get yeah. into the students. Well, today you were attending the campaign, right? Yes, so what you learned and you have experienced that your age group, they sometimes say, oh, we got a chest pain or we are feeling uneasy. You get confused. How you deal with that? Um, first of all, uh, this opportunity given to us, we are very thankful for that because uh, I mean, like now, nowadays, as you said, ma'am, uh, heart attacks, and then they're common. Hmm. It's not, I mean, it does not belong to a particular age group, and it, it like the age varies. Hmm. Like, it's uh, heart attacks are common for peer, people varied from age 8 years to 12 years, 14 yeah. years. So, now, like, if it happens in our family. We can't say that it won't happen. Hmm. It might happen, might not. Hmm. So if it happens in our family and we know certain like uh, safety measures, like before we, the ambulance arrives, hmm. before that, if uh, you know we can save a life, that will be very good yes. and that will be very, very helpful to the society. So we're very thankful for our school and the management, I mean the organization to call us here and uh, to teach us the CPR as well as they taught us uh, first aid methods hmm. and about seizure hmm. and a lot many things hmm. so I uh, what have they told you about the symptoms what yeah they symptoms? told us about Can the symptoms elaborate on that the hmm. symptoms are basically uh, of heart uh, chest hmm. pain hmm. or your chest feels tight hmm. your arms start to ache either hmm. any one of the arm hmm. uh, the pain can recite to your neck hmm. as well as jaw okay and then you need to react yeah, and then we, we have to react. And CPR should be done uh, only when the patient is not breathing. Okay. So, can you just show it what you learned, how you did, like if you can just give a small demo, sure. the hand movements and how you need to react. First, you need to be okay. alert and like on a conscious way. We should not panic first. Yeah, that's very important. Yeah, right. So, how you need to go about it? You can explain about that. Hmm. Uh, the hand needs to be placed at the hmm. center of the chest and we have to give continuous compressions. Hmm. Might be around 100 to 120. Hmm. Per, per minute. Per minute. Yeah, per okay. minute. Okay. The elbows should be straight and they should not be bent. Okay. This is usually done on the floor. Okay. The whole pressure needs to be given. Okay. 
so we have to continue till it uh, keep going uh, until the patient uh, gets consciousness okay and the compression should be at least 2 inches down so that uh, it affects okay so otherwise there is no use of doing it it should only uh, maximum be 2 inches okay. to 3 inches or uh, depending on that we have to do we have to do till the person get conscious and mostly it is from 100 to 126 pressures uh, per minute but don't you get like confused or it was new for you it, it was, was a new thing new experience the organization you? explained us clearly when we have to do and when we should not hmm. and also they thought is very properly that in such a way that we can understand everything and they also explained how to do and even we have to check with the uh, symptoms and they also told when we have to do they told us be fast hmm. which uh, explains each letter explains us what we have to do hmm. on certain time so first b which b stands for balance and e stands for ice, ice. Hmm. so when that we have to check on that and then we have to go for fast which uh, tells us about fa- uh, face if the face and is not proper panic attacks mm-hmm. No strokes also. Mm-hmm. And also, a, a is for arms. We have to check uh, if they are able to raise their ha- arms properly. If they are not able, then we have to check if they are able to speak. Uh, speech as for speech. So if they are able to speak, mm. then we if they are not, uh, we have to check if they are able to speak. If they are not able to, then we have to uh, start doing CPR and then call. Uh, we have to call ambulance. Yeah. Then we have to start the CPR. I think you all got good knowledge today. So let me first ask her also. Well, uh, now I think it's a stage where you feel like you can actually save a life, and you can react. Yeah. Before that, before when you were attending this, you were aware about the heart attacks and that at your age, eight to fifteen years, boys or girls are getting heart problems. Like not that much. We weren't mm. aware that much. But today. Uh, for this event like they told many things and they even showed the videos which was a great uh, way to explain the children mm. and i really like the way the way uh, the way they were explaining and the way they showed what kind of awareness needs to be taken yeah, so in every schools and colleges when you grow up like yeah, yeah these are becoming very common in india especially mm. uh, during the cpr the, uh, the mm. way so i according to me everyone should know how to do the cpr and the basic uh, first aid so today they uh, learn and they made us learn that and mm. it was very interesting it learning. was a complicated word for you before that cpr or you know when you get a chest pain it's very complicated yeah. it yeah. sounds you very complicated before this campaign yeah it was sounding like very complicated and i was like little worried also like how can we do and all those things but mm. the way they told us it was very wonderful so i think now you can save a life yeah i am sure that i can save a life too. very good that's a good line we should appreciate so let's come to the main lead it was Hello. a great initiative i was just talking to the girls and they explained very well like a doctor thank you what are the symptoms they explained everything sir why was so late i think it's the first time a campaign came who actually trained girls or boys of this age actually why, why you are late and why you came like now like what was the idea actually it's not late already we are uh, started a uh, cpr training long back so we are training in the schools somewhere in um, tight two cities and tight three cities few of schools in hyderabad also hmm. and we are training most of these it workers and these um, non healthcare workers hmm. and uh, especially in government offices hmm. so we started uh, this cpr training uh, all over the india hmm. in uh, in tamil nadu we started uh, training this is almost 5 years back okay. and kerala also we started but in hyderabad especially with the these kids i think it yes, was yes actually since last couple of years we want to train this uh, above 7th to 8th standard students yes. this is the uh, age must learn about the cpr because of if you start learning from this age def- def- definitely it will be continuing or uh, the skills will be continuing mm. almost 80 to 90 years mm. so they can save many member of yes. uh, uh, emergencies they can uh, also convey the message and importance of about the cpr also to mm. others so how long i think i want this is not should be the one day awareness how it can go to a long way or we can add up to the syllabus or something is actually yeah. the motto is each one save one mm. that is the motto everyone should learn about must learn about the cpr mm. not only in the school in every family one of the family were must learn about the cpr mm. we don't know when emergency will come and especially kids we never imagine yes. that we will yes. get these yes. kind of problems yes. so uh, in society also in all communities also somewhere in every every person we want to train mm. about cpr and importance of cpr and how to save the lives in emergencies that is our motto we are there we will train as 
think about the how to learn also skills hmm. and below some standards they are not that much uh, mature to learn these skills and, and why it's coming more of the chest and heart attacks among yeah. uh, these young girls or boys can you just so these days actually we are seeing in emergencies hmm. as uh, in a speciality hmm. these days uh, especially the school children also hmm. when they are in uh, participating continuous these uh, uh, game games and uh, these um, uh, activities hmm. running and all those things people who doesn't train properly hmm. if they run sometimes so there is a called hypertrophic cardiomyopathy okay which is not going to allow to do cpr also if oh. in that case people will um, uh, run continuously one hours uh, two hours huh? their heart is beating like 130 140 170 huh. then after that uh heart also they don't take load okay. so automatically after some time that is called hypertrophic cardiomyopathy hmm. especially in athletics hmm. we will see this kind of thing hmm. especially you might be seeing uh, some police training or some athletics hmm. or some uh, player football player suddenly collapsed he died hmm. he must have less than 25 years old yes yes so even while doing gym also yes, we are while seeing doing gym also hmm. so we don't know what kind of ages usually after 30s hmm. usually we are seeing cases the sudden cardiac arrest and sudden collapses we are seeing very commonly hmm. about and 25 kids years. and kids also kids. nowadays we have heard yes, some news yes yes after covid what can be the reason or precaution we can take yeah the, uh, these things are actually there is a life sedentary styles hmm. there is a uh, family issues or uh, chronic family history hmm. or any kind of hereditary issues we don't there are very various reasons are there so we have to identify those things and if once anybody collapse with these problems hidden problems hmm. we must ready to save that life so the main agenda of the campaign of today it was save there and i think these girls today actually taught me exactly what need to be done yes. so my last question to you how this journey should go so far our motto is we we will there are 140 crores people are there in across yes. the country almost all healthcare practitioners now they are um, Uh, you are doing the tie up with yes, schools also yes yes okay. we want to tie up with the schools we want to tie up with uh, non healthcare groups also like it groups or mm. um, government officials or government uh, offices mm. and wagera wagera mm. so we will and for training part also we have sufficient manpower mm. to cover this number so that's what now students are getting interest oh, yes. once after uh, this thing uh, we can after 12th standard onwards we can make them instructor course okay so after which, which is completely one day program okay then they'll get two years valid certification also mm. and they are ready to teach the same what we taught okay they are ready to, they can teach also very good that is the motto now question is my you have any question to sir you would like to ask you, anything in your mind you would love to ask after yes. this campaign attend you have attended the opportunity you should throw a question on him anything <laughs> See, you didn't get a chance inside here you can, can ask <laughs> any question you have yes. so what exact location are we supposed to do the compression yes correct this is very important question hmm. so always where is the heart located in human human body center center usually uh, towards left yes. from the center this is the actually heart placed in our heart so uh, always your palm palm this is actually this portion should be in the heart then you have to give can you hold it yeah. yeah then you have to keep like this hand you have to lock the fingers you have to give sufficient force on that heart mm -hmm. then only heart will be start repumping okay. so if you give one the tick sound should come mm -hmm. and you have to allow complete chest recoil means you have to it becomes it, it has to come to reach to normal level so this is pressing this is recoil this is pressing this is recoil that you have to make 30 is to two ratio means now you only learn cpr then how to give after 30 count you have to give two breaths mouth to mouth then only again her heart will start repumping mm -hmm. that is the importance like that you have to give minimum five cycles without any interruptions and you while doing this uh, procedure your uh, elbow should be locked mm. then only the force will generate from here otherwise you will get fatigue and you will tire mm -hmm. okay the technique also is very important yes You have a question? She has one question. I think your your question is clear, right? Yes. 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 Will yes. we have more events like this? 
definitely that we have to talk with your <laughs> management <laughs> and uh, if they are allow we are ready to teach school wise school wise hmm oh, she has one question yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you have more tricks about this things this is standard guidelines hmm. give the microphone uh, these guidelines we have to follow wherever you go the world the same guidelines these guidelines are designed by american heart association those standard lens we have to follow like hmm. do you have more things to learn like in which way? cpr yeah cpr this is the only way and, and followed way? by when you become doctor there is acute cardiac life support <laughs> that is more advanced procedure than this acls it's called it is bls basic life support can this you is for, you can you can but there is a fees 3 days program you have to enroll you uh, you will get certificate and after that you are eligible for instructor course also yeah. good you have a question hmm uh, sir i would like to know what the basic or what mechanism takes place in the heart when you are performing cpr on a person who is unconscious actually the mechanism is already heart stopped pumping so we are giving external pressure then that means is there any kind of uh, flow obstructions we are because of this force and this technique the heart is blood circulation is going to restart so we are giving and again we are making the heart to start pumping okay do you is. have any question you so you all are clear today i mean after you i mean attending this campaign how it was important to learn the tricks and the way you need to act when actually this happens because you need she told me very good line no need to panic yes First. yes That's always i want yes. to mention whenever these kind of situation yes. emergencies happening you should be careful about the scene safety first the scene is safety or not you should think if it is safety only then you go for start this kind of thing if scene is not safety you should not be in trouble scene is safety in the kind of any fire accidents kind of any bridge collapse kind of any mm, the scene you might after seeing the scene uh -huh. is it safety or not In the enter. school, in the school, I think they could need come with also, something. In the school also, hmm. something like they come over. I'm getting a chest pain. I'm not. In well. that case, okay. Yeah. Okay. Where is there? Is there in pool or if you go, you don't know swimming again. Hmm. Again, you are. You will be in trouble again. Hmm. For this person again, need CPR. Okay. So, so the scene is always very important. You need to check up with the scene safety. So I think that was a very good uh, lesson and the campaign agenda. So I want you to just end up by knowing the three things more you would like to add up. uh this is about this com campaign and about the kids zone especially yes i am just uh, giving the advice for all school children above sound standards must learn cpr yes. and you should take this message to your family members also then this message you can spread to the society also yes. and each one save one it is our sl uh, uh, slogan you have to keep in your mind always the importance of the this cpr technique True. it is part of our life I, I am Dr. Sudhakar right Reddy, uh, <laughs> President, Society for Emergency Medicine of India, Telangana State. And thank you so much, sir. I would thank like you. to say thanks. This is a very good initiative. Thank you And very much. And I think much. you should go to the higher level. We are with you. Sure. Save sure. the life. So I think we'll end up here by knowing all the things. And I think it's a very good learning with you and with the girls, boys who of this age. We need to learn this technique. Save life. For more updates, keep watching. I dream.